Sharon, I'm with Tim, who's president of Blue Shift Materials. Nice to meet you, Tim. Very nice to meet coming. you. Thank so, you. what does your company do? We make polyamide aerogels. Right. So, it's a new material. Uh, we, we launched the product about two years ago, um, just in kind of a pilot uh, phase, and we're moving to a continuous production uh, at the beginning of 2019 that we're very excited about. And what's been your main innovation? Uh, the innovation is figuring out how to make uh, enough of the material to really be usable by the market. Right. Um, so traditionally it's been kind of a lab-based product and making it in a continuous way proved to be very, very challenging, right. but essential to make the product economical uh, for use. Right. So these are a few examples here of the product? Yes. So those are our, right. our block <laughs> style. We, we call that our stock shape. Yep. Where would you see these being used? What are the main applications you're targeting? Um, there's, there's a couple of different areas. One is thermal management. Um, so I'll show you guys a, a tape we've designed. So it's a thermal management tape. It can be used for hot spots. Uh, it's got an adhesive to it, mm. so it's very easy to use. Um, and we've also got a heat shield. So our material's in the middle. It's the yellow stuff you can barely see. And this is aluminum on this side. So the aluminum is a nice uh, barrier for radiative heat. Right. Our material slows down the transfer of uh, temperature. Um, and then we can put a, an adhesive on it to make it very easy to use. Just peel and stick. So this would be for um, radiator type applications or sort of indoor? Yeah, well, or um, this in particular is for an air structure. OK. okay. Um, to insulate uh, an engine area. Right, OK. And what's the performance of the system? So compared to how they currently do that, what is the benefit of this approach? The big benefit is a small footprint right. and ease of application. Right. Uh, so a, a traditional aerogel is a silica aerogel, right. but it's really hard to use in like a composite or a laminate. Our material is 100% polyimid and air, right. so very easy to incorporate into a structure or a laminate. Right. Um, and yeah. what's the market you're prioritizing? So is it aerospace with a long time frame, but I guess the big need for it, or is it other sectors? The, the driver has been aerospace and defense. Okay. Uh, we've had a partnership with NASA. Right. A, an area which I didn't bring up before that's really big for us is RF. Uh, so antennas or uh, ray domes, our okay. material uh, okay. has a low dielectric and a low loss tangent. Right. So signals can go through it very uh, cleanly. Okay. And that's one reason we're here at this show, is a lot of this is about signaling and electronics. Um, so we've got some good traction with companies that are interested in our material here right. as well. And what are your biggest challenges in the very short term, so in the next two years? Is it more about the technology or just sort of getting it into the marketplace now? You know, really manufacturing has, has been uh, the, the biggest hurdle for us. Uh, we've been really fortunate. We've had a lot of pull demand. Companies have come to us really interested in the product. Yeah. Manufacturing has, is just really difficult, so we're really, really excited uh, for our new film line that will be commissioned in March. Right. Um, so it's, yeah, it'll be a, a big event for us. Great. Tim, thank you. Let me ask, what do you think of the ID Tech X show? We've really enjoyed it. Um, it's been a great show for us. Really high caliber people have come by our booth, uh, product designers. Uh, we've had great uh, conversations and getting some uh, nice business contacts. Great. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank Cheers, you. Tim. Thank you, Ragu. Very Thank nice you. to meet you. Thanks. Perfect. Thank you very much. Nice